What's up guys, my name is Carl and welcome to Tech Hunter. A quick shout out to Philips Hue for sponsoring this video today and for sending me the products you saw in that intro. To achieve all the lighting effects and fun that you've just seen, you will need at least three things. You will need the Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box. This lets you sync your smart lights to the content on your TV screen. It has four HDMI 2.0 ports, which allow you to connect your media devices to your Hue setup, resulting in a fast seamless display of colorful lighting responds to the content you watch or listen to. The next thing you'll need is a Philips Hue Bridge, which is the brains of the Philips Hue smart lighting system. The Hue Bridge allows you to connect and control up to 50 lights and accessories. Simply plug it into a socket and the back of your router, then download the Hue app to set routines, timers, custom light scenes, and more. Lastly, the final piece of the puzzle is the Philips Hue Play Gradient Light Strip, which will not work without the other two pieces of equipment I just mentioned earlier. It's available in three different sizes, ranging from 55 to 60 inch, which is what I have here, 65 to 70 inches, and 75 inches or greater. It's easily installed with five self-adhesive mounting brackets, which you attach to the back of your TV, and then feed the light strip throughout them to get an even amount of light across the back of your TV. It takes a bit of measuring to get it right, but Philips recommend a gap of around five to 10 centimeters all the way around, but you don't have to be completely spot on to get the desired effect. An advantage of this kind of mounting is that you don't have to stick the strip itself to the back of your TV, and it makes it easier to remove the strip in future if you wanna move it to a different TV, for example. All you have to do is just replace the adhesives on the back of the five included brackets, opposed to the entirety of the actual LED strip. For those three pieces of equipment, this lighting setup will set you back 430 pounds in the UK, and around $490 in the US. If this is your first foray into Philips Hue, like me, then this can be an extreme way to get started. But if you already own the Philips Hue bridge, other Philips Hue lamps, or lights, then it kind of softens the blow a little bit. But it would also enable you to get much more out of your system as well, as you can sync other Hue products to work with the lighting on the back of your TV. If you have clicked on this video and you're considering Philips Hue lighting in the first place, you probably well aware that it is more expensive than some competitors you might see on Amazon, for example. So now you know how much this costs and you can decide whether you want to see more, then feel free to keep watching and click that subscribe button if you're getting some useful information so far. Now let's talk about what comes in the box, how you install this and how you set this all up with the app. In the box of the light strip, you'll notice that it comes with five brackets that will be used to install the strip, like I mentioned earlier. A plug with multiple ends depending on your region, and also a little transformer slash hub thing that receives power from the socket and connects to the light strip. The hub also has three end tape on the back of it, so you can also just stick that to the back of your TV as well to keep it out of the way, though I didn't find it necessary as it kind of hung out of eyesight for me anyway. The light strip is extremely thick and robust. It's angled at 45 degrees in order to throw the light around the TV better, and it doesn't sit flat to throw the light just straight at the wall behind the TV. With the HueSync box, you get a slightly upgraded power adapter that lets you connect multiple Philips devices. This way you only need one socket outlet to power both the light strip and the HueSync box, which is a pretty neat feature. It also comes with a HDMI cable to connect up to the TV included in the box. Also a little nice touch. Lastly, the Hue bridge is super straightforward. It just needs an ethernet cable connection to your router and plug it into the wall. Then it's just a case of syncing it within the app. Do bear in mind one thing though, the Hue Sync box, as I mentioned a second ago, does only support HDMI 2.0. So if you're hoping to use this with a PS5 or Xbox Series X or PC to game at 120 FPS, then unfortunately you cannot. You will be limited at just 60 Hertz or 60 FPS at 4K. Another slight downside to the Sync box is that it only works when you have a device connected to the outgoing HDMI port. So if you've got like a smart TV with built-in apps like Netflix or YouTube or Amazon Prime, then the sync box won't recognize them and won't react with the content that you're watching on your TV. If you need help setting everything up and installing it all, Philips have also included a step-by-step -step video guide within the Philips Hue app to make installation extremely simple, as well as all the paper documents that you get inside the box. Once you've set up the Philips Hue app and bridge, you'll also need to download the Philips Hue Sync app. This is where you can connect to your Hue Sync box and set that up as well. And then you get the ability to start tinkering with your light setup. If you have any other Philips Hue products already, the Sync app will detect them and ask you to position them around the room in relation to your TV. 
for potentially a whole room light show. Once inside the Sync app, you've got the ability to rename your inputs to exactly what you want them to, whether it's a smart stick, a PlayStation, or a PC, it's super easy, or you can just be lazy and leave them as HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4, like I did. After all that, you're good to go. And when you want your lights to sync up with the TV, just open up the app and hit start syncing. Once you're set up and in the app, you can adjust how reactive you want the light strip to be with four steps of adjustment from subtle to extreme. Another option within the app allows you to adjust the strip based on the content you're watching between video, music, and gaming. You can also adjust the brightness of the strip within the app too, if you find it too distracting from what you're watching and maybe you just want a little kind of ambient glow as opposed to an explosive disco. An advantage that the ambient light strip does have over the Ambilight built into the Philips TVs is the fact that you can just turn it on and use it as a regular light within the Philips Hue app, giving you the ability to adjust colors and set moods even when the TV is off. Now, I can imagine there are some of you out there who see this and immediately think it's completely unnecessary or over the top, but unfortunately, I'm not one of those as I bought a TV with this built in just a few years ago because I love the looks of this kind of thing. What does it really offer for you though? It offers an enhanced sense of immersion in my eyes. I've always found that an extra indirect lighting throughout a room can really help to create a particular scene or mood and the Philips Hue gradient light strip brings that to your TV and lounge. For me right now where this is situated isn't really the best place for it. If you've got a large TV with a large wall behind it, it can throw light pretty much across the entirety of that wall and add a next level of fun and immersion to when you're gaming or watching movies. The light strip doesn't just light up one color, it has multiple different zones that can light up throughout the strip. So the top could be blue to reflect the sky, whilst the sides could be green to reflect the trees, or blue and red like we have right now. Overall, if you are considering this, I would honestly have to recommend that you're either looking to expand what you've already got regards Philips Hue products or potentially be willing to buy a couple extra lamps or lights to situate around on your room or TV to set up kind of a whole room, new level of immersion, which is extremely impressive once all working. We have seen this kind of technology before, but what we haven't seen is the ability to sync it with what happens around your TV and have it work with other things that are in your room. And I feel like that is what is the biggest selling point of this package. It's the ability to create a whole room, light reacting, cinema style experience for something that is truly ridiculous, but also extremely cool. Also, when we're allowed to have friends come over to our houses again, you know that people will be asking questions and be seriously impressed as soon as you put something like this on the screen and you just see those lights pop around the TV. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Whilst you're down there, feel free to click that like button. And also, if my face hasn't offended you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.